Good morning friends welcome to the today's session on why AML input step in Pentaho so today we are going to read an uh, why AML input file which is nothing but your invoice which is generated at the time of purchase so it is looking something like this at top of the uh, which is in the notepad plus plus so you can see this is invoice copy which is generated at any retailer store with the date this and uh, bill is uh, generated on the name of Alexander Dumas okay his address his family uh, and the product which he purchased so here he purchased basketball and super hoop okay total tax he paid total uh, amount generated and the comment which he uh, which alien has created this uh, receipt okay this is nothing but your why aml file format it is more on human readable because this receipt is generated at the in, uh, at the store when you go for any purchasing any product okay so now we are going to read this file using the pentaho script okay so i am opening uh, pentaho 8th version so once you have uh, once you uh, go in this you need to extract uh, you need to go inside the input folder and then uh, from here you can search and open yaml input uh, file okay so this is my input file uh, which uh, step which i need to drag in and drop it here so in my example uh, in my ktia file or uh, i have already taken this step so i am going to delete this so what we need to do now we need to open this script by double clicking and then uh, you have to redirect the file which is present in your local machine so in your local machine the file is present uh, at this uh, location okay this is nothing but the directory where your file is present so i i i just hover it you can see the name which is present over here okay so this is the file which is present under this uh, this is the same location i've just redirected to this file path okay now next i'm i'm going to check the contents so uh, it uh, if the file is not presented at this location then it will not uh, generate any error so i have just check it on this checkbox now the next item is uh, I have to uh, read which all uh, fields are present in this receipt. So first I have this is user defined name which we define in any type. So for for uh, understanding I have given the same name and the key values which we want to get it from the particular file. So if you see this is invoice so I have given the key like invoice date bill to product text total con uh, comment so every time you can see then the next step is we have to define the data type so you can see this is integer type data type this is date type data type and uh, remaining you can see we have defined it as a string because we are going to read uh, this as a whole uh, uh, at, uh, attribute okay so this these two are the whole attribute then in the later uh, step uh, we will go and split this into product wise detail for analysis okay so this is all the data type which i have defined now i want to check whether the data is coming correctly or not so i will just go and preview Hola. the data is coming as expected okay so you can remove this timestamp as it is default taken from the pentaho so bill is generated on name of this product is generated on name of this text total and this comment now what is my objective over here i have to break down the products product wide detail for this particular customer so if you see i have just double click and i have taken this step from my last uh, from my uh, uh, product tagline from my receipt so if you see uh, this product is having uh, this uh, this customer have purchased two products one and two so i have to split this particular customer into two records because he have purchased two product and i want those two products in different uh, rows so if you see i can split on the product basis 
now the content these are uh, as these are coming from the uh, previous uh, previous step so I just clicked on this and if you see I have given values based on value I have to split uh, these two product okay so if you see uh, these product values are given and the keyword value is given okay so I right click and show you preview how the data will be looking after this step so you can see that the job is executing so here preview is help us to get the data uh, transformed after this step okay so if I right click on this and I can see it is taking a bit longer time sorry for that see how the value is split in two different categories so we have here we have split the uh, split our receipt into two values that is uh, first one is basketball product which he have purchased and second is the uh, super boom which he have purchased okay so you can see the preview you can also redirect preview from this uh, tab which is under the execution result so you can understand now the next is we have to again split the product details and get these all attributes from this particular product like how many quantity here purchased and all those stuffs okay the quantity description price and all those things into different uh, fields okay so i'm going to go there so you can see same way I have used by AML input and I have segregated these into different attributes and based on the key ok so this is how our data looks like after breaking it so that you can see refer quantity and description price are again splitted from this value so that we are having everything in the row column format using the by AML input step in Pentaho. Similar way, we have split the bill in uh, bill uh, bill to in different fields. So here we have only one customer which have purchased this two product. Okay, so we have splitted this in the given family and uh, complete address information. And after this, we have again split this particular address into multiple uh, attributes like city, state, postal code. This is the same. So in this tutorial, I have shown you how we are using YAML input step to perform an operation which reads the receipt which is generated at any local store or any purchasing store and into row and column format then we will proceed and we will see how we are going to uh, uh, how we are going to deal with this data to get the business insight thanks thanks for watching this any queries any or uh, any of your concerns any of your understanding if you are not able to understand just let me know i will do uh, i will explain you post down in the comments